All righty, right, it's Daddy Jacks cooking with the blues here. And uh, so I had some ham, you know, left over. I had some of this good uh, slab bacon that we bought. And it was in uh, all that good smoke uh, fat we're going to use. We're going to make a Polish ham and cabbage chowder. And uh, it's dedicated to Mark and Tommy, uh, good friends of uh, my buddy Champ, Tim, Tim Jerish. Uh, had some rough, rough patches here, and I just uh, want to wish everybody the best and the blessing. So this is dedicated to Mark and Tommy. Come here, Axel. Come here. Come over here. Come, 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 come. Sit, sit. You're such a good boy, all right? I know it's playtime, but we're going to get it later. All right, buddy? Yeah, okay. I better wash my hands again. Hold on, mm -hmm. Okay, honey. Okay. Yeah, because I've, I've caught a little bit of slack uh, in the past. Um, so I know I got a real hot skill here going, so, so I'm going to pour a little water in it, okay? And then uh, to dice up our, our slab bacon, it's got a little bit of lean left on it, but... Use this in place of salt pork. That's how I used to always make my chowders. I learned from my my dad's favorite aunt Lib. Uh, used to put salt pork, you know, in her baked beans and her chowder. And uh, but this is just the yeah, same thing here. We're gonna render it down. Um, what's that looking? Mm. You know you got heat when you hear that sizzle. And uh, this is uh, this is this goes with my uh, making something out of nothing, just you know some scraps and you know we'll save some of the better piece with some of this fat off the ham. Put so some lean on it. Yeah, what a smell! Beautiful smell coming off it. Look at this, we got a nice, some nice ham from the, uh, some nice uh, fat from the ham. It's gonna melt down real nice. And, uh, okay, that's all gonna go in. Snap, crackle, and pop. That's gonna render down. I like to go in with my potatoes first. I'm actually like to go in with my green pepper first because most people don't like green pepper because they don't cook it enough. That needs to be cooked first thing into the skillet in my book. Just let that cook down with the, uh, the, the, the ham, the fat, the bacon. We'll cook that right down. Okay, that fire's going up. Right, Keisha? Okay. So, uh, and then I like to put my potatoes in next and get them going. This chowder you can start to finish probably in about 15, 20 minutes. And then I have my uh, stock, my ham stock over here. See the bone? I reduced it down, get all the flavor out of it, that beautiful broth off the ham. So that's going to go in. We're frying it now. Okay. We'll be right back because I will get a, I will have to get a little butter. We don't have enough fat. I'll be right back. Cabot, the best butter, that and Land O'Lakes. So we're just going to add a little bit of butter into it so we'll have enough to make our roux. Okay. All 
Alrighty. Cutting the potatoes, nice small dice like my buddy Georgie Z. He likes, he's the one to turn me on to. I used to cut them a little bit bigger. A, they cook quicker. Okay. The potatoes cook quicker. So your chowder's done quicker. Okay. My favorite towel, my favorite kitchen towel. Kind of looks a little bit like my mom's Hadley. So anyway, you got some uh, nice leaks. So I washed, I washed the tips. Okay, I washed off the knob end here. Move my pot over to here, Lakeisha. Okay, hon. Because uh, so I get a wider spread. I started off on a smaller burner. So here, we're gonna cook some of the leeks. Cut some of the leeks. Okay. Okay, so then we're gonna put the rest of our veg in. Celery, white onion, red onion, some tops of some leeks that I had. Clean out the refrigerator. Red bell peppers. flour in my buddy Keith I always mention his name because his flour is so good whole wheat flour okay now I'm gonna make this a little bit extra thick with the flour because I'm gonna be using milk whole milk at the end not cream so it's gonna kind of be a, a milk chowder all right And we're going to add in the uh, broth. Okay. So that broth didn't have a whole lot of seasoning into it. So some salt. It's a nice uh, black pepper that I ground. Put in this can. I ground it though. Okay. Uh, guess what I'm looking for, Lakeisha? Slap your mama? Yep. Uh -huh. How'd you know? Because <laughs> it's good. <laughs> they just add a little bit of heat. Uh -huh. JW. JW. I just talked to him. A CW. What do I call him? JW. CW Wood out of uh, Baton Rouge sent this to me. Sent me another backup, another backup, and a Tony Saturies. So I'm, I'm ready to roll. Lakeisha said, shut the cabinet door. I follow orders <laughs> from headquarters. <laughs> okay. Well, miss some. All right. Right, then our cabbage we're going to put in. See, I like the core. I swear to God, I like the core and everything. I don't waste. That's the best part of the cabbage. Just cut the very end off. Yeah, 
guarantee you, if you were hungry, we'll be throwing half of this stuff in the garbage. Okay. Okay. I'll add a little bit of water. Guess what's next, Lakeisha? I have no idea. Oh, yes, you do. Oh, what, tarragon? Yep. Okay. A little bit of tarragon. Put it in all my chowders. I'm going to dice up this ham. Leave it kind of bigger chunks. So I know we... We actually put some ham into it. Okay. That's it. We're going to clean up a little bit. Let this stew down. Put it, you know, once it comes up to a simmer, as soon as those potatoes are done, we're going to add the milk. Shut it off and let it set up. But whenever, well, I have milk here. From Terra Firma Farms, a great a great farm here. Uh, I think they're in Stonington, I believe, right, Lakeisha? But uh, just uh, really, you know, whole milk, it says, keep it fresh, shake well. When's the last time, you know, you shake a, a pasteurized milk? This might be even unpasteurized, I think. I think it might even be unpasteurized. You know, bring it to a good boil. That way you don't have to wait and uh, for your chowder to come up to a boil again. And uh, you make sure it's all you know, up to temperature. So, I'm gonna add the milk in. It's a milk chowder. It's my aunt was favorite, famous for her milk chowder. Um, but I, I guarantee you by tomorrow, later on today, it's gonna be, all the flavor is gonna meld. All right, champ, Tim Jarish, Tommy and Mark, Polish, ham and cabbage chowder. Uh, blessings to y'all. Okay, we're gonna sit down and try this out. All right, let's give it a taste here. Axel, always at the ready, sit. Sit down now, sit. Okay. Oh boy, it's beautiful. Look at it, look at the ham. All the veggies are still, you know, they're cooked, but they're still kind of al dente. They're not falling apart, overcooked. Mmm. Mmm. Well, boy. One more bite. I'm going to do talk a little bit. Like Keisha, you don't want me to bite too much. This was, this was a creation of mine, but I guarantee you somebody else has made it in the past. You know, kind of a peasant, you know, kind of a peasant cuisine, I call it, but it's cooking from nothing. And, you know, making something out of nothing. It's uh, hearty. It's uh, delicious. Using the leftovers, some scraps, and, you know, the meat that was on the bone. <clears throat> but it's Daddy Jack's Cooking with the Blues. Uh, we just started, a, we put up a new YouTube channel, uh... Uh, Jack Daddy Records, check us out. I put uh, put one CD up there, Sam Meyer's CD, all the tracks you listen to for free. Um, you know, make some comments, share with your friends. Also, share our if you like these recipes, these videos. Uh, share them with your friends on social media. Uh, please subscribe. We see a lot of a lot of uh, comments. Uh, people haven't subscribed, and uh, you know. Help, help spread the word for us. Uh, for merchandise, it's uh, daddyjacksnewlondon.com. Check it out. And uh, God bless everybody. And uh, everybody stay safe and healthy. You too, Axel. Yeah.